Okay, so yesterday I made a video about the 26-year-old woman who is going to marry Charles Manson. And uh, 26, that means she was most likely born in 1988. So you got your 88 and your 26. And uh, see, I don't know, when I got home from work, I thought about, um, when I think of Manson, I think of Marilyn Manson, like the band or the guy. And so... I mean, I looked him up here, and I'll show And, uh, so I already knew this, but, uh, I just want to prove that it, it's true here. His stage name was formed by juxtaposing the names of two American cultural icons, namely, uh, Marilyn Monroe and Charles Manson. So, I thought, all right, well, I never, you know, I checked out Charles Manson already because of the marrying the girl in 88, who's 26. And, uh, so I went to Marilyn Monroe and go figure Marilyn Monroe was born in 1926, which, so if she wouldn't have died, she would have been 88 years old. And it says that her last completed film was, uh, called the misfits. And if you scroll way down here and remember, I just talked about, uh, Glenn Danzig um, the other day, and he's also in the band The Misfits. And right here it says, Tributes, Glenn Danzig of the American rock band The Misfits uh, released a song named Who Killed Marilyn in 1981. And we've uh, been talking about the uh, MM Jam and the 8 and the Cube at the Georgia Guidestones, and I just keep finding MMs. Um, so I don't know, maybe the eight actually represents, this is just me guessing, but maybe the eight actually represents like eight different sets of MMs that they're trying to do something with. And Marilyn Manson would be a double M. Um, but anyway, what I wanted to get to here was that I'm not even really going to look at that much into it. I just, Marilyn Manson is releasing a new album. Uh, I think it comes out in... January of next year, but a few of the singles were released in this year. So it's called The Pale Emperor. And I mean, you can, you come down here, yeah, here we go. So October 26th, uh, the single was released, third day of a seven day binge. And then on December 16th, the track called Deep Six is going to release. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of, just sounds weird. Deep Six. And you read through here, and I mean, I showed you the, a couple days ago, uh, Danzig's uh, album titles and the song names and everything else. If you if So if you think these are like satanic, like a lot of people all think Marilyn Manson satanic, and like that's who they always think of, but man, and like they listen to Danzig, but they don't think about that or something. It's weird, but like, considering they're like way crazier than these but anyway moral of the story i'm going through here and i'm looking and track number four is called i don't know how to pronounce it the mistopheles of los angeles now enter the stars has been he has a whole bunch of videos on this um because this actually is murphy and I just, man, I just found that really interesting. So, and, oh, it's it's from like the movie, uh, 1926 movie Faust. And it's, it's in Ghost Rider even. Um, but anyway, this, it's like a, one of Satan's like, uh, demons or whatever. But I'm just trying to figure out. The Mistopheles of Los Angeles. Like, what does Los Angeles have to do with it? Okay, well, I think I just discovered something pretty amazing. Um, I Mistopheles also means Murphy. And uh, in the uh, Enter the Stars videos, he talks about the movie Coming to America with Eddie Murphy in it. And I thought of the the, the movie Eddie Murphy I know him most for is uh, Beverly Hills Cop. And Beverly Hills, let's see here, I'll just click on this. 
maybe here. Beverly Hills is a city next to Los Angeles, but it is in Los Angeles County, California. So the Marilyn Manson song says uh, the Mistopheles of Los Angeles. So it definitely could mean Beverly Hills. Uh, Eddie Murphy in Beverly Hills. And what's even more interesting is that I know he talked about this on one of his videos. Um, the movie was released on December 5th, 1984. Hopefully my mic's working here. And the main movie that uh, Mistopheles is from is from that movie Faust that came out in 1926. So Beverly Hills Cop was released on December 5th. And on December 5th, there are 26 days remaining until the end of the year. Okay, and I don't know, I remember this movie a lot from when I was a kid, but The Golden Child, it came out in 1986 with Eddie Murphy. And uh, in this movie, Eddie Murphy is the chosen one, and he's destined to save the golden child, the savior of all humankind. Um, but the, the reason I even mention this movie is because uh, Eddie Murphy is the same age as Barack Obama, and then Barack Obama, there's a whole um, thing to do with the Lion King um, in Kenya and everything else. But anyway, the movie, Eddie Murphy, no. and uh, so his dad in Coming to America is James Earl Jones. And James Earl Jones uh, also plays the owner of the beast in the sandlot. He also plays uh, Mufasa, which is Simba's dad. So he's the dad of the king of the beasts, or, or he was the king of the beasts, and then he, he died or whatever, and then Simba has to become the king of the beasts. So he's like the owner of the beast in the sandlot. He is the owner of the, the king of the beasts, and uh, the Lion King and Simba is basically represents Obama, and then Eddie Murphy's the same age, and and he's the chosen one in this movie, and oh, it's just um, my thoughts are getting rambled here, but anyway, I think you get the picture. But it reminds me of the movie Little Nicky because you have Rodney Dangerfield who is like the the creator of hell and he's satan's father and then satan has the three kids and whatever so the my next video i'm gonna do a decode of uh little nicky um i had, i started it a long time ago i just never finished it so i'm just gonna do it tonight because i have time and i'm gonna post it but uh that's all i really have to say i guess i just that's crazy that uh it all started from uh the Charles Manson video I did the other night and then Marilyn Monroe and they have to do with 88s and 26s and then you look up Marilyn Manson who's based off of them his name comes from them and he has a new album coming out with uh, Mistopheles or whatever of Los Angeles and then that has to, that means Murphy I'm just summarizing it here and then he's in Beverly Hills Cop which is in Los Angeles County, and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's just some crazy stuff. But uh, I got, I'm got. i going to make my Little Mickey video right now. So uh, anyway, have a great night. Hopefully this makes sense.